Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. This journal is almost completed. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for your kind comments about the first eight videos. I hope it wasn't overwhelming to have so many released in such a short amount of time, but I did want you to have access to all of the videos so that you could work at your own pace, whether it's having a day to go through everything or you want to save it and plan your project and look back and just have everything ready to go. I didn't want to have any snags and have a few videos out there and then not be able to complete them for whatever reason. Today we have these couple of pages. I already know uh, the picture that I want to use and she's floating around here somewhere. I'll tell you right away some of the ideas that I have for this page. First of all, I'm gonna stick this in between these two pages because I don't necessarily wanna get all of these colors on this black paper. I am thinking about uh, not using pink on this spread, at least not directly on the page. So let's just clip this paper into place and come back over here. This is the picture that I know I'm gonna be using. And I've also thought ahead to using some of this, is that a fold or, oh yeah, it's like a, a crease in the paper. I thought ahead to using some of this transparent vellum to make a window. Uh, vellum is kind of funny, it can crinkle when it gets wet. So far this hasn't done that. Uh, I am gonna be adding more paint splatters to this and I think that's one of the first things I'm gonna do so that that can kind of sit to the side and dry. Let's just press that right there. Let me use up everything I can. Okay, let's put some of those. Have you ever seen a window to an old building, like an old store or an old workshop? And it's got uh, just like, Sometimes it is paint splatters, but it's got dirt and just debris from the years and you really want to see through and you can't. I kind of want that effect. And I do think we're going to want some paint up in this corner. So I'm just going to smear that corner through like that. And we will sit that up there to dry. And let's come back over here, take this away. I know that I'm gonna need my hair dryer or dryer or whatever you use, your heat, heat tool to dry some things off uh, because I'm gonna do quite a few layers of color on this page. And we're gonna start out with some beautiful letters. Okay, let's pour out some more pink. I've almost worked my way through this twinkle pink. And let's grab this paper towel that we've been using, which may come in handy for something. Go ahead and just get some paint over this stencil and try to hold it into place. Uh, let's see. I think that will do. This picture that I'm gonna use, I wanna have it to be a little bit more sturdy than it is. So I'm gonna take some of this heavier black paper. Let's just cut right around the edge to make these about the same size. And I might even take out a corner punch. Okay, that's gonna work. I'm gonna dump this in the trash can. For those of you who keep things nice and neat and clean, I thought it might uh, not feel like completion to see me put this away with all of those little paper pieces floating around in there. Let's add some color. This is alcohol ink. Now don't forget that things can work their way through the paper. Anything that's really liquid uh, so far, that's only put one little spot through, but I don't want to have it come through her face or anything, so you just have to think about that sort of thing. Let's go 
I'm going to put some Distress ink around the edges. Come back with some water. I just went over the top of this with an ink pad, a darker, it's a really kind of deep, purpley pink. It's a berry color, maybe that is getting more into purple. Uh, just add a little bit more really kind of grungy color on this page. And I think I'll turn this over and See if there's anything on the stencil that we can end up with over here. Yeah, a little bit. I know if I have it, I want a piece of gauzy fabric. Let's see what's in here. I don't want the blue. Tell you, I have really enjoyed this gauzy fabric with the stars on it, and this will tie in perfectly with what I was thinking about for this page. You know what? This piece still has a hem all the way around. I'm so tempted to use this as decoration <laughs> instead of starting on another piece and not using the scraps I have in here. So let's see if we can tear off a piece of this. Yep. All right, so let's focus on her for just a little bit and getting this how we want it. I'm going to cut kind of a triangle shape here. I know I want a layer of fabric in here somehow. Uh, and we could even do this. Okay, I haven't used the sewing machine at all this whole entire time. And I've done that so that you don't feel like you have to have a sewing machine. I do want to use the sewing machine for this simply because I, I love the results. And I just want to go ahead and complete this part you could definitely do this without a sewing machine. You could use glue, you could hand stitch. I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and just sew around the edge. Okay, I like this a lot. You can see I just went around and around and then hopefully on the back, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I will lift up a project and look at the back and think, oh my goodness, I had that so wrinkled under there and I didn't even realize it. You could tie another piece of string around the top of here if you wanted to add more interest. We've still got this string that we used at, at the very first in the nest. So, uh, you know, like you could tie this at the top and make it even more even more layered, um, you know, these might hang down in front of her, but you could, you could cut those off or you could even sew those into this fabric. I don't know, this could hang outside of the pocket too that we're gonna make outside of the window. Uh, one of the things I do want to do on this page, I can remember when I was little and I learned to make a star shape, just something like this. You know, one, two, three, four, five. It's really easy. I thought I was very accomplished when I figured that shape out. 
So I'm just going to do some little stars of all sizes. We've done something like this recently in another journal, I think. But because of the message today, I'm going to go ahead and do this again. And we may come back and draw around these again with a marker to just keep adding, adding more lines. And I do want more black on this page. I like this really tall star. We can take this gold here and just put it on the page so that we don't lose any of it. And we're gonna see that behind the window. So we've got this window. I don't want it to be so tall that she can't peek out. So let's cut it down just a little bit. There, we have to keep it wide enough to be able to attach it down somehow. So we can use glue. Um, I do uh, want to use glue. I had to think about that for just a little bit. Glue and moisture, things like that, and this is a water-based glue, it can cause vellum to sort of wrinkle up. And I, I like the way that looks sometimes. I've used that effect in some journals that I've made. Uh, I don't always want it to do that. I'm gonna stay right at the outer edge so that we don't get into the space that needs to be a pocket. And let's just go ahead and put this down. So that's gonna wanna pop up a little bit. I think we can go ahead and take this clip off. Let's hold this down for just a little bit. And this next step might help to hold, it might help to hold the whole window in place. I want to make sort of a window frame. So we're just going to put some black paint. This will help to bring the black in too. And it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. I wonder if vellum could end up looking like old glass the way it wrinkles. So I don't want to get any paint under the top here. I really don't want the top to stick to the page at all. I'm okay if we have quite a bit around the edges, though. We want that to stay down. Let's come straight down here. Straight across here. I love the gold on that vellum. I really do. So pretty. So this page is pretty dry. You can tell when acrylic paint starts to get dry because it loses that sheen. It'll look really shiny until it's dry. Here's our little picture that we're using. You can use any sort of image you want to. I love that we can kind of see her through the window and that the window is all stained with paint. And I know what I want this page to say. I love that she's facing this way. Uh, the phrase is on the page of phrases that you can print out and use if you want to. I think I'm just going to write mine out and then cut out the words or tear them out. I always look for the light. And I love making different kinds of, of letters. Lettering. I'm have rarely been patient enough to really master calligraphy or any particular alphabet or style that has a name. You know, there are all of those names for the different um, fonts as we see them now online. But it's really fun. I like making the block looking letters and uh, let's see if we can tear this at all. And on this page, you can keep adding as many layers as you want to with different colors, different stencils, uh, whatever your color palette is. You can go with three or four different, different tones of the same color. 
Uh, the more you layer, the, the deeper and richer the page is going to be. Just remember that sometimes you have things uh, behind what you're working on. I've, I've ruined things before by forgetting that there was something on the other side. Well, and I don't know if ruined is the right word. You can go back and fix things, and, you know, sometimes that turns out even better. Always look for... You can see I tore this one out with one edge of the paper straight. It doesn't have to be torn all the way around, but you might like that look better. I think I might keep this one completely square or squared edges, straight lines. Always look for the light. Let's come back with this pen and work on our stars a little more. I'm gonna go back over some of them. Could even add one on the white paper here. A little more gold. Of this. For now, at least, I think we're going to call this page done. I'm going to stop and let everything continue to dry. I love the way she is looking at the stars and that she's hiding behind this window that we can see through just a little bit. Again, you don't have to use a sewing machine. You could use a stapler. Uh, the more layers you add, the more interesting it's going to be add all the layers of color that you want. I might have stopped short of what I want to explore in my own art. I want to start making pages that are deeper and richer with more layers and more color. Uh, but for now, I do want to just get the lesson across. Thank you so much for joining me for this video, and I will be back really soon with the very last one. We've got one more page to do, and we're going to put our final touch on the back, and then we will do a complete flip through on a clean desk. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.